I'm going to be feeding, the, feeding all my ants crickets today. And here I just dropped some crickets in here and let you guys watch while I continue on with the rest of the colonies. So I do, I, I do kill my crickets beforehand. I tend to break them up into smaller pieces. Easier to manage. There we go. Now we're waiting for. I'll give these guys a few minutes, see if they come out here, and if not, I'll take a peek inside.
go ahead and help out just a bit here. Not how I wanted to help, but let's see. Seems to have worked. Again, guys, I'm walking away feeding some other ants, so things get, you know, things are out of out of picture, out of focus. I'm not actually sitting here watching them. I'm, why can't I get that to focus? So much are there. We go. You guys, I'm going to switch to a Nova Messer colony. These these guys are pretty fun, so let me get these guys out of the limelight here. And move one of my Nova Messers in. Let's see here. And guys, I try to kill them, these crickets, aside from crushing their heads, but um, I'm sorry, I don't... I don't... Uh, I'm not trying to have long... Wait, that's this is not a noble master pot I apologize wrong colony oh here's a noble messer they've got some chicken in there I'm, of course I haven't brought it out yet everybody else has but uh, let's take a peek inside this colony I've got some cricket out there and I have not gone out there to see it yet but these guys are doing relatively well caught this one back in July Put it in a test tube setup, moved it over to um, this uh, formicarium on September 4th of this year, 2016. And September 4th, they had two workers. Today is October 22nd. So um, you can see they're, they're doing quite well. And looks like we got an ant out in the foraging area. So let's just take a peek here once she... Uh, Lays down that central. Something's good. Um, the rest of them should follow.
know why this camera just does not want to focus. It looks like they're done. Let's move back over to our honey pot. Teamwork, teamwork. Let's see if I'm going to try to help them out a little bit. There we go. Uh, guys, this video is approaching uh, 15 minutes, which um, I know some of you like the longer videos. And YouTube, for some reason, gives me grief on anything over 15 minutes. So I'll probably go in there and try to, I don't know, speed up a certain... I'm just starting to really get into the editing side of things. Traditionally, I've just given you live videos, but um, I'll try to get in there, speed things up so that I can, you know, I can show you the whole video. Probably should have chopped that leg off. Hopefully they'll get it in there. But look, look how strong, you know, you got one ant there and then the guy in the bottom thinks he's helping, but not really helping. Just push and pull, push and pull. It's amazing how strong these guys are. Okay, so one of the, the more fascinating aspects of ant keeping, you get to see what's going on in the nest, and, and we rarely get to see that. Now, um, these guys are somewhat camera shy, and I don't want to stress out the queen a little. I mean, the, the ants themselves, but the, the queen, and they do have some repletes in there, but or one replete last time I checked. So, but let's, so I'm not going to do this too long, but I do want you guys to see what's going on inside the nest. Okay, so here we are inside the nest. And um, I haven't looked in here for a couple days. Looks like we've got a couple new ants. Let's see if we can't get a better view viewing angle here. Now, obviously, by the highly translucent, you can tell we've got some newer ants. Got our honey, our replete running around. Seems like she's actually working as well as probably hiding. Okay, let's. Okay, let's see here our entryway. on that whole focusing thing. 
There we go. we doing here still going Just covering the rest of the nest. They don't. They don't like the light. Try to try to make it as a healthy environment for them as possible while being able to share. Now, there's a little bug in there. That that always worries me when I see little guys in there. I don't know if it's. I don't know what it is. I'm very careful about what I introduce. But I, oh, there it is. Look at those guys, man. They are impressive. They are impressive. Aren't those young, young, oh, look at that big one right there. That It's definitely going to be a replete. And guys, you know, that, that really light colored ant that just came into frame and left frame a second ago. I mean, that, that could be maybe a day, two days old. And there she is. And what's so fascinating about ants, and I, I think you guys would all agree, is, you know, they immediately know what to do. I mean, it's the minute they're born or they close, they get their footing there and boom, they start working. And that is just, you know, that is that is just so incredibly impressive to me and why I've always been very fascinated with uh, with ants, you know, going back to childhood. Look at that very healthy replete there. So beautiful. And I've told this story before, guys. Um, but I remember, I mean, vividly, I, I actually can't say vividly because I re can't recall what school I was in or what age, but I remember sitting in the library as a kid at school and going through, um, you know, ant books. And I remember seeing, you know, honey pots, and they were called honey ant at the time, not honey pot, the, not the scientific name, of course. I remember thinking, how cool is that? And I've just had a fascination with ants. So uh, last year when I caught my first honeypot species, didn't know what the species was, just based on the queen, had no clue. And I recall, you know, the first replete, and it was not this big, but it was like some of the other ones I've showed you where it's just a very big gaster. I'm thinking, God, what is that? First I'm thinking, is it a young queen? No, it's a young colony, there's no wings. It's not a young queen. I said, could this be honeypot species? Or at the time, honey ant. You know, because again, I, I hadn't really done a ton of research on it. And 
lo and behold, I had a uh, honeypot series or honeypot species. And, you know, again, you know, being very fascinated with them at a, at a very young age, I just thought how, how fortuitous that I would actually have one of these species. And, you know, of course, all of us probably see the ants above ground and you have no idea what you're looking at. The, the repletes only stay, you know, below surface. So, um, but yeah, this is a young colony I caught in July um, of 2016. It's currently October 22nd, 2016. And, um, you know, we got our very first um, Nanictic September 1st. So well, almost two months later and we got repletes. Um, diet has been largely fruit flies and crickets. I do put fruit in there, apples, um, grapes, uh, sometimes little cherry tomatoes, which this colony hasn't really, um, doesn't seem to really enjoy the cherry tomatoes as much as some other, other um, honeypot colonies I've had that really like the uh, tomatoes. But, um, but yeah, um, these guys seem to be doing real good. They have very healthy brood. I'm not going to make the attempt to move them like I did last one. I pretty much destroyed that colony. It's still alive, but they're down to like four worker ants. So I'm going to... I'm going to leave these guys in here until I'm really convinced that it's time to move. And I think the current chamber, they're, they're still very good in this chamber. What I'll probably do is remove the uh, the foraging area and just connect them to a larger uh, formicarium. And um, hopefully the queen will just stay in this nest and uh, not move. So I'm not going to make a concerted effort to try to move them into a, a new nest. I, I certainly, certainly want to make sure these guys stay happy. They got the, I'm looking, I think they got the head in. I'm going to go ahead and feed the rest of my ants and just let this guy roll. And let you guys, uh, let me see if I can change the zoom in here a little bit. Maybe zoom out. I'm not sure what is more interesting. Maybe zoom in. Just gotta focus here. Focus, focus. And we'll have to zoom out a bit. All right, guys, I think I want to leave these guys alone, not to mention my phone, which I'm doing all the recording is getting incredibly warm, so it's probably time I stop. But as always, I appreciate you guys watching. I've never really asked for this before, but uh, it seems like other YouTube videos do it, so why not? You know, you know of course, I'm a, I'm a follower, so um, like and uh, like this video if you thought it was in informative and Please leave some comments, what you want to see, what you don't want to see. Again, I, I started doing these videos, and I'm sorry for always again. I do these unscripted. Um, uh, my father actually enjoyed watching these videos, and uh, I started loading them up to YouTube simply because it's easier to transfer the video than it is to email it to him. And people started following me, and I'm you know really grateful for that. Got a lot of great comments, and you know the ant communities. It's it's fun to you know it's fun to communicate with, and fun to trade ideas and experience. So. You know, if there's videos that you guys would like to see, please let me know. Um, you know, I, I enjoy the comments. I do read them. I try to respond as quickly as I can. Right now, there's not too many, but uh, please like the video. Please follow me. I, I do like that. I thought so. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.